Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I'm going to explain about endosperm culture and its application. In this picture, you people can see the endosperm in case of corn kernel. So, after double fertilization, uh, usually double fertilization occur in majority of angiosperm, which result in two fusion products that is zygote, fusion product of a egg and one of the male gamete and triploid endosperm which is a fusion product of polar nuclei and a second male gamete. Endosperm lack many organogenic potential and vascular differentiation. Endosperm is unique tissue firstly in its function of supplying nutrition to the developing embryo and in being triploid. Attempts to grow endosperm tissue in cultures began in 1930s and now mature and immature endosperm of various taxa of angiosperms have been grown. Lamp and Millis uh, in 1933 they were the first to report the proliferation of immature endosperm tissue of maize grown on medium containing extract of potato. Nakano et al. successfully cultured immature endosperm of rice and achieved organogenesis. Rangaswamy and Rao successfully cultured immature endosperm of Santalum album up to callus endosperm culture. It is the in vitro development of isolated mature immature endosperm from seed at proper stage on suitable culture medium to obtain triploid plantlet. Types of endosperm culture. There are two types. One is mature endosperm culture. Second is immature endosperm culture. In case of mature endosperm culture, it is the in vitro development of isolated mature endosperm from ripen endospermic seed on suitable culture medium to obtain triploid plantlet it is called as mature endosperm culture. In case of immature endosperm culture, it is in the in vitro development of isolated immature endosperm isolated at precise stage from immature seed cultured on suitable culture medium to obtain a triploid plantlet is called as immature endosperm culture. It consists of three steps. The immature or mature seed are dissected under aseptic condition and endosperm along with embryo are excised. Excised embryo or excised endosperm are cultured on suitable medium and the embryo are removed after initial stage. Callus followed by embryogenesis or shoot bud differentiation. Complete plant formation takes place. Procedure of endosperm culture. Explant source. In most of the cereals, mature endosperm does not respond to culture condition. It is therefore excised at a proper period of development. Normally, endosperms of cereals undergo certain changes within like 12 days after pollination, making this able to respond. Proper stage of maize is 8 to 11 days after pollination. 4 to 7 days after pollination for rice and 8 days after pollination for wheat. In some families, association of embryo tissue in initial stages seems essential for proliferation of mature endosperm. In such cases, entire seeds are used as explant. Immature seeds provide explant for non-endospermic seeds. For uh, inoculation of explant, for in vitro culture of mature endosperm, seeds having massive endosperms are decoated, surface sterilized with suitable disinfectant. After 2 to 3 wash with sterile distilled water, planted on a nutrient medium. For in vitro culture of an immature endosperm, the entire seed or kernel is uh, surface sterilized and the endosperm tissue is excised under aseptic condition. In case of cereals, top kernel or immature ovaries 
that is especially the micropyle end are cut off with a sterile knife and expose endosperm squeezing out and placed on the callus induction medium uh, callus uh, induction nutrient medium basal white or ms medium is generally used to induce callus formation uh, callus from an immature endosperm Basal medium is supplemented with tomato juice, yeast extract, grape juice. Sucrose is used as a source of carbohydrate. In some cases, addition of 2,4-D IAA cytokine is necessary. Incubation and maintenance of culture. To induce callus, the endosperm culture are maintained uh, in uh, maintained darkness or diffused light. Differentiation takes place when calli is transferred to bright light. Um, of uh, 2000 to 4000 lux and uh, 25 degree centigrade temperature shoot bud differentiation or embryogenesis plantlet formation from endosperm callus maturation follows organogenic or embryogenic mode of development embryo differentiation occur when the perforated tissue is transferred from callusing uh, to basal medium with or without gibberlin uh, Gibberlins. So, culturing um, carried out up to complete development of plantlet. Plantlet developed are hardened in greenhouse by transferring in vermi culture media and maintaining uh, proper humidity. Factors affecting endosperm culture. Explant stage. Proper stage may vary from cellular that is immature to mature endosperm depending upon species 47 dap in rice 8 dap in wheat in wheat 12 dap in maize and fully matured in santalum album nutrient medium low amount of reduced nitrogen is required for proliferation undefined source of tomato juice yeast extract etc Physical factors, pH of 7.0 seems to be effective for fresh weight increase. Maximum growth of endosperm occur between 24 to 27 degrees centigrade temperature and 12 to 16 hours photo period with diffusion day light supported callusing as well as regeneration. Embryo factors association of embryo tissue in uh, initial stage seems essential for inducing proliferation of mature endosperm tissue in some families immature seeds of non endospermic seed exhibit no dependency on embryo factor application of endosperm culture the technique of endosperm culture has enabled the production of triploid plant. Triploid plants are self-sterile and usually seedless. The trait increase edibility of fruit and is desirable in plants such as apple, banana, grape, uh, watermelon and mango which are commercial importance, commercially important. In timber and fuel yielding plant, Triploids show better performance over their relative diploids or tetraploids. Also, there is no problem of seed sterility as they can be multiplied by vegetative means. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.